morning everyone it's monday so i have another week and i'm so happy to report i feel so much better this morning christy slept in so i just had to go and wake her up and some days just getting myself up back up the stairs so early in the morning would be a real challenge but i did it <laughs> it's the small things when you have fibro yeah but i mean i'm obviously most days starting a bit of pain but I'm feeling so much better. I'm so happy. The last few days I've had bad mornings and good afternoons, but I feel like I'm in, in, even in for a good morning. Maybe I can get some food prep done. <laughs> if I do, I'll probably film it as a separate video because I haven't done one for a, a long time. Um, so I probably have to do a lot today because these are now in hospital. They went off to hospital. We took them up last night for the, um, what's it called? The rehabilitation hospital. So they're going to try and help her with a, you know, a fitness program and they do physio and well, they do physio, occupational therapy, physical therapy, hydrotherapy, there's psychologists, there's all sorts of people up there. So she's in hospital for two weeks. And Kevin's going to be up in Sydney tomorrow night and then probably going to New Zealand, I think Wednesday for the rest of the week until Monday or something. So. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really getting pretty much Christy and myself most of the week. As you know, Christy is a very fussy eater and doesn't eat a lot, so I just really have to feed myself pretty much. But that's, that'll be a good thing. I do some food prep, I can get some meals done that'll just be easy for me to eat. And um, yeah, oh, I've also got my puppies still to look after. And they need some food done. <laughs> they had their last meal last night. So I've got a bit of food prep, hopefully I can get done, and ironing, and a bit of cleaning. They're the goals for today. <laughs> I'm just so happy and so relieved to be feeling better because today was the day if I was still having full bad days I was going to try and get a ketamine infusion for like next week or two but I don't think I need that now I think I'm past the flare let's hope so just packing lunch for Kevin so he's got a chicken cheese and mayonnaise sandwich he's got some chobani yogurt with maple syrup and some granola to put on top. It's got some dried pineapple and some vegetable chips. And I'll see what fresh fruit we've got for him as well. So what I put in? A, a banana and orange. Yes, I know it's a lot of food, but this is what Kevin will eat until he gets home at 6 o'clock. So it's breakfast, lunch and any snacks. I don't really think it's too much when you think of it like that. And Chris is running late, so I'm packing her lunch. So she's got just a plain roll, chicken jumpies, mini Oreos, but I haven't got any homemade stuff for her at the moment. And an apple. She's actually not been taking lunch to school much these days, so. And again, she's not going to have time for breakfast, so this is going to do her all day. On the sandwich? That's what Kevin does. He comes down and inspects his lunch. <laughs> chicken, okay. cheese, and mayonnaise. It looks okay. I've already vlogged your lunch. Oh my goodness. You're a harsh critic. <laughs> what are you after now? I don't know. What food have we got? I just vlogged food? about how much food you had for your lunch. This is my favourite room in the house. I know. He just often goes this in there and looks. This is my favourite appliance. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you expect to find in there. It's so funny. No. I feel like I'm not alone since last time. So rude. You come shopping with me. Not that means you get to buy what you want. <laughs> Okay, I showered and dressed. I'm going to take these puppies out for just for a little walk. I'm going to drive down and just do a little walk. <laughs> and I'm going to come home and have some breakfast. Oh, you'd be excited about the sound of that, Rosie. Is that exciting? You want to go for a walk too? Who wants to go for a walk? Walk? <laughs> Tell your story now, Rosie. She was on the couch last yesterday afternoon. We were, Kevin and I were sitting there, and she did a big howl. She only usually howls during the night, very rarely. But she must have been asleep and howled and woke herself up. Because you're funny. Yes, we're gonna go. Yes, we're gonna go. Go. Did like the best news you've heard all day. <laughs> you're so cute. Yes, we're going. Gotta grab my phone and get some leads. Do you know where your leads are? Do you know where your lead is? Where's your lead? I don't know who knows his lead. Where's your lead? No. 
Leads are in here. I'm back home, nice and hot, even though I just walked in a t-shirt. It's really weird. How hot and sweaty I get all the time. It's crazy. Not fun. Anyway, I've hung the washing out. So both loads of washing got done this morning, or two loads got done. I put some in the dry because there was an awful lot. So I put the famous clothes and Christie's clothes. My Christie's clothes from the last week and the famous clothes from probably a good four days or so. But being so bad last day, I kind of let it go. So I've still got a clothes, like a small clothesline full. And then the rest is in the dryer. Also, I've got the dryers in there. Just to make my life a little bit easier today, we'll try and get on top of things. Um, so I'm just cooking a, um, a veggie patty at the moment. I'm going to put that in a bread roll, have some breakfast, and then I'm going to sit and make my menu plan for the week or meal prep for what I need to get done, and hopefully get that started. But yeah, I need a kind of a rest after that walk. It was really good and I felt good on the walk. Maybe the last little tiny bit, like really like the last few meters, I felt a bit sick of the start. Probably because I started walking faster. But otherwise it was a great walk. So good. Um, it's just such a difference to even how I felt the last few mornings. It's, I'm so happy. And very, very, very relieved. Because I thought this morning I'm ringing up to book in the ketamine infusion. I'm going back to hospital for another week. Well, yeah. I'm back to normal. Well, I've actually decided I'm not going to do a huge meal prep session. Um, mainly because it's just going to be crispy and I don't really think I need to do a lot. There's quite a few meals in the fridge, in the freezer, and I think I'll just, yeah, I think I'll just play it by ear each day, sort of see how I go. So I'm going to just make some cauliflower soup up and put some in the freezer and some for Christy to have. I'm going to make country grain casserole that, that will do me for lunches and dinners for a few nights. That's for my meal prep meal and some banana muffins and the dog food and I think that's all I'm going to make. I am going to do a salad for lunch today. I'll probably make up two. I'll probably make one for today, one for tomorrow. And I think that's all I'm going to do. Okay, so food prep's well underway. I've done more than half. I'm going to take a break now though, have a, another cup of tea. I've been watching YouTube while I do stuff. So I've done country grain casserole, I've done the soup, chopped up um, stuff for tonight's dinner, chopped up the onions which will go in the salad, I've done most of the two salads, just got to finish them off. So I still, I've got to make banana muffins, I've got bananas there, I've got to do the dog's dinner, part over there, I've got to empty the dishwasher, and I feel like something else I was going to do but I can't remember what it was. Oh I've got potatoes there to mash but I won't do that until later on for dinner tonight. So I think that's all I've got to do afterwards. So, hmm. Still cannot believe how good I'm feeling today. It might look atrocious because it's got my head put back, but I feel so good. My feet are sore now though, so I do need to take a break. But, oh gosh, it's so different to how I've been feeling for the last, almost two weeks. Probably over two weeks, actually. I had a few reasonable days though, sort of, I had about a week and a half ago. So it's been a rough trot, but it's okay. Feeling good now. I'm going to be careful not to overdo it today. So that's probably all I'm going to do. Probably worry about the cleaning. Oh, I don't know. Because if I feel bad tomorrow, then that's my, that's my this is my dilemma often. But if I push today, I might be bad tomorrow. But if I'm bad tomorrow and I haven't done anything today, then I lose the opportunity. So we'll see. I think I'll have a good break. I'll have a little break. Come back, finish off. Then I'll have a good break. And then I will see after that whether I can maybe do a few little jobs, you know, so that's quite possible. I'll just see. So I finished my food prep. I'm just going to quickly empty the dishwasher because there isn't a lot in it and restack it. And then I'm going to have my salad for lunch. Trying without pineapple today just because it takes forever to go through a tin of pineapple now that I'm not having like toasted sandwiches with pineapple and neither the thinner. So, and I'm also not having any salads. So I don't really want to open a tin of pineapple when I'm the only one who's going to eat it. Although I will have salad tomorrow, so maybe I should. All right, I'm going to get a tin of pineapple because <laughs> I've got to have a salad tomorrow as well. So at least I'll use half the tin. Got everything crossed off on my list. Uh, I've just put the cauliflower soups in the freezer. I labelled them. Salads to go away. I should have popped that away earlier, but anyway. <laughs> and I've just got to put the muffins in a bag and just divvy up the dog food and i think i'm gonna do some ironing and then i'll do some washing up later on okay i'm in the laundry and i'm gonna 
I don't know, probably spent at least half an hour at least me try and get his shirt, it's Kevin's tops done and we'll see how we go, but probably I don't spend a half an hour but I'm very happy with, so happy I'm actually feeling up to doing it well I ended up doing maybe just over 15 minutes, <laughs> I've got all that ironed I've got all the t-shirts that I wanted to do and there is still, there's probably another 15 minutes there but I'm not doing that today <laughs> I've had enough, <laughs> I'm happy with what I got so I'll go bring sort of some of that was stuff that went in the dryer this morning from Athena and Christy and I've got to bring in their washing in a bit. But yeah, I'll just leave that. Try to get to that later on in the week, but yeah, obviously. <laughs> we have more clues. I don't know what else is still in here. Some are Christ a few things are Christie's, some aprons, and what have we got? A few things of Kevin's. I don't know what that is. Whose is that? Must be Christie's. H and M. I don't know. Yeah, oh, I don't know who that is. Christie's or Athena's. I think it's Christie's actually. So she's got a few things in here, and there's tea towels, and a couple of shirts for Kevin. I think that's all that's sort of in there. And a nighty of mine. I forgot I was vlogging again. Not that much to report though. Picked up Christie from school. Did the ironing. Oh, I've had the ironing, didn't I? That was after a picture of Christy from school. Kevin had coming home a bit early, so he took Christy tennis lessons. I watched the YouTube, and I'm just coming to finish up dinner. So, Kevin's having some leftover chicken breast. I've got a veggie snitch chili, a vegan snitch chili in the oven for myself. I've got potatoes cooking in the pressure cooker. Oh, I've got the tap running. I thought the pressure cooker was making a lot of noise. I forgot I was filling the sink. Potatoes cooking in there, and then I've made a mushroom gravy, which I've never made before. I might turn it off actually. I think it's going to be nice. It's just the normal gravy that I make, which is this one. Not great ingredients, but it is vegan. <laughs> and I cooked some mushrooms and onions in it first. I'm going to put that over the chicken and the snitchel. That should be really nice. I saw a bit the other day where she did that. She actually put it over. Why don't you put it on? Might have been fries or something. Should be the gravy. I can't remember what she put it on. No. I think it was some kind of vegan meat. <laughs> I thought that looked nice. I don't remember now. I only watched the video yesterday, I think. Anyway, I stole the idea. She put it on put on fries, like potato fries. Like made like loaded potatoes. Yeah, that was it. If I can remember the video, I'll link it below. <laughs> um, and I thought that sounded really nice. But I'm just doing mashed potatoes. Because <laughs> all the potatoes I had, I had um, potatoes for mashing rather than the potatoes for baking. So that'll be nice. And because Kevin's gone away for the next have many nights, how many nights? It's going to be away for five, six nights. Um, just going to watch some stuff we've got on pay TV that we've recorded. Rather than start a new series, because we finished off watching that Banish, which was the Australian Convict show, which was very good, but there's only one season, so it's finished now. Did enjoy that. If you're interested in Australian history, I think it was probably pretty accurate. It was definitely worth a watch. It wasn't the best show ever, but I really like, um, what's his name, isn't it? Russell Tovey was in it. I really like him. He's a, such a good actor. So, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely worth a watch. We watched it on, I think Kevin bought it. Yeah, so however you buy TV shows. Did you get that banished from Apple TV, Kevin? Pardon? Was banished on Apple TV to buy? Yeah, banished. Um, yes, we bought it. Yeah, I know we bought it. Was it Apple TV? Yep. Yeah, I just checked with Kevin and he said we bought it on Apple TV, so if you're interested, it was very good. That's my dinner and we're looking forward to this.